Uh, Hart's reading, it, it feels to me like he didn't practice at all. Uh, I think he needs to go home and practice. I did, I must have checked over 20 words for him and a lot of it was mispronounced and then I think there were some new words he didn't know. Uh, I, and he's also missing the intonation. It, it, there's a lot of rhyming words for like every, each sentence or every two sentences are supposed to rhyme and then he's missing that 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 point uh, for the Gruffalo. Uh, Gruffalo's child is exactly like the Gruffalo. There, there's there's a flow that needs to be followed. And uh, she was asking, he was asking if he needs to remember it. I think that's not the point. I think he needs to understand that there's a flow and there's a, a sense of uh, rhyme that goes to. It. It's supposed to be fun to read, not necessarily remembered. So I think uh, pronunciation and intonation is, is very important for him. Hello, my name is Solomon Gale. You can call me Ha. I am 10 years old. I am WI3. Today I will tell you a story about Buffalo's Child. Please enjoy my show. The Buffalo's Child by Julia Donaldson. Illustrated by Axel Shuffler. Gruffalo say that the Gruffalo should ever set foot in a deep dark pool. Why not? Why not? Because if you do, the big bad mouse will be after you. I met him once, said Buffalo. I met him a long, long time ago. What does he look like? Tell us that. Is he really big and terribly bad? I can't quite remember. Buffalo say, and he thought for a minute and scratched his skin. The big bad mouse is really strong. His scaly tail is really long. His eyes are like pools of terrible fire. His whiskers are tougher than wire. One snowy night when the buffalo snow, the buffalo shell was being bored. The buffalo shell was feeling great. So she tiptoed out of the buffalo cave. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. Into the wood went the buffalo child. Aha! Oh ho! A trail in the snow. Whose is this trail and where does it go? A tail poked out of the log pie house. Could this be the tail of the big bad mouse? Out slid the creature. His eyes were small and he didn't have whistles. No, not at all. You're not the mouse. Not I, said the snake. He stopped by the lake, eating buffalo cake. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. I'm not scared, said the buffalo child. Aha! Oh ho! Marks in the snow. Whose are these small marks? Where do they go? Two eyes leaped out of the tree top house. Could this be the eyes of the big bad mouse? Down the little creature. His tail was short and he didn't have whiskers of any sort. You're not the mouse. Ooh, not I. He's somewhere nearby, eating buffalo pie. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. I'm not scared, said the buffalo child. Aha, uh -huh. oh ho, a track in the snow. Who's in this track and where does it go? This was at last, an, an, an underground house. Would this be the home of the big bad mouse? I'll slam the creature. His eyes weren't fiery. His tail wasn't scaly. His whiskers weren't fiery. You're not a mouse, not I. He's under a tree, drinking buffalo tea. It's all a trick, said the buffalo child, as she sat on his thumb and spread a snow lay pile. I don't believe in a big bad mouse. Well, here comes a little one, out of his house. Not big, not bad, but a mouse at least. You'll taste good as a midnight feast. Wait, said the mouse. Before I eat, that's a friend of mine that you are to me. If you let me home into a hazel tree, I'll become my friend so bad and big. 
the crocodile shark and produced her fish. A big bad mouse, so he does exist. A mouse jumps into a hazel tree. He becomes then say, just wait and see. Out came the moon. This was bright and round. A terrible shadow fell to the ground. Who is this creature, so big, bad and strong? His tail and his whiskers are terribly long. His ears are enormous over his shoulder. He carries a knife as big as a boulder. The big bad mouse killed the purple shine. The mouse jumps down from the tree and smiles. Aha! Oh-ho! Prince in the snow. Who's are these footprints? Where do they go? The footprints led to the buffalo cave, where the buffalo child was a bit this brave. The buffalo child was a bit this bored. And the buffalo snored and snored and snored. Please vote for me. R W I three.